What's going on guys, Roger here with QBO Tactical. In today's video, I am very excited to bring you guys a project that I've been working on for the last few years. Uh, this new product is going to let all of you other content creators out there get that awesome first person field of view camera angle, uh, making your videos look like they were straight out of the Call of Duty video game. Of course, I'm talking about our new compact optic durable mount or COD mount. So let's get into it. Now before we dive into this for you guys, uh, if you are here watching this because you've already purchased our new COD mount, uh, I first wanna say thank you for supporting us. We greatly appreciate it. Uh, we are so pumped to see all of the awesome content that you guys are gonna be creating. All right guys, with that out of the way, let's get into what our COD mount is all about. The QBO Tactical COD or Compact Optic Durable Mount is a full aluminum mounting system that allows the user to mount their smartphone perfectly in line with a rifle mounted scope or red dot. When you order yours from our website, it will come to you nicely packaged in a branded QBO Tactical box with the three components individually packaged. You will find additional swag in the box uh, to include our signature air freshener and an informational postcard with instructions pertaining to this video. Now, when you receive your COD mount, you will notice that there are three separate components to the entire system. The first is going to be the aluminum clamp. This is what will clamp to your rifle. The clamp features a branded metal red knob, quarter 20 mounting points, and one 3816 mounting point. The clamp also features articulating feet along with curved arms, allowing for two points of contact that are either flat or round, such as a rifle stock or buffer tube. The inner portion of the clamp and articulating feet have a textured rubber lining to keep marring and scratches to a minimum. Next up is the dual articulating arm. The first portion of the articulating arm is a small rod with a quarter 20 threaded post. This will be screwed in clockwise into the clamp. The other portion of the articulating arm features a quarter 20 threaded post attached to an adjustable tightening wheel with a textured edge. This portion of the arm is what will attach to the smartphone mount. The center red knob is used to lock both articulating ball joints into place by turning it clockwise. The last piece of the puzzle, guys, is our padded and anodized smartphone camera mount. Uh, this mount features multiple quarter 20 positions to attach to the articulating arm. The smartphone mount features a textured locking wheel uh, that ensures the clamping portion will securely hold your smartphone in place. Additionally, there is a locking lever which locks in the angle you have positioned the camera into and ensures everything stays put during recoil, something that you will see here shortly in the range footage. Now, if you're like me, you probably have a drawer or a box full of different camera pieces and different scope mounts and different scope cams, uh, but none of them have been able to produce that first person field of view that we all want. Um, you know, the view like we see in first person shooter video games like Call of Duty. Um, after trying countless products, guys, I decided that I needed to figure out the solution for this problem. I reached out to different manufacturers of camera parts overseas, and I was able to piece together these three components. I ordered some samples and then did some field testing out on the range to ensure stability and durability. Once we were satisfied with the final product, we placed a bulk order for all of the components and here we are. Now let's get into how you're gonna set up your COD mount while out on the range. All right guys, so when you're getting ready to set this up, one of the first things that I do, um, I'll record here so you can see it in the phone, but take your camera, I pretty much have the lens facing down and then you wanna go up to your optic, find where you're seeing through it and then back up from there and then once you get the clear angle that you want, which is about there, you can mark it. Now, okay, I know I need to clamp here. That way everything will be uh, in the frame of what I wanna see. So again, I just go up to the optic close. I pull back from there. That way everything is in uh, the camera frame of what I want. And I don't worry about getting all focused now, but I know that here's where I'm gonna have to mount um, the clamp in order for the focal length to be correct with the camera. All right guys, so something I wanna do for you in real time out here on the range was set up the COD mount behind one of our optics on a rifle so you could see how long it takes uh, after getting familiar with it. Um, like I was saying earlier in the video, your first few times setting this up, it might be uh, a little time consuming um, just to get that perfect angle that you're seeing in all the footage that we've already shown you. Uh, but I will have a uh, picture in picture going for you. I'm gonna record here on my iPhone uh, as I do this. Um, the first thing I would do is get your setup, put the phone in, get it lined up to where you, how it's gonna go on the gun. So I know that I'm gonna be mounting 
something uh, on the underside of the buffer tube. That way I can charge the handle. And so then I'll put it in that configuration and give it a little bit of torque. That way it kind of locks things in. Um, the It's not super tight, it's not set yet, because I still want to be able to move it. And then I'll come under here and I'll start lining up where I'm going to be on the optic. So I know that that focal length there is pretty good. So I'll come under here and I will tighten this down, the clamp onto the buffer tube, get it nice and snug. Now I'll loosen the arm portion and I'll bring it over and start figuring out where it needs to go in regards to the optic. And like I was saying, you can see right here, I'm not seeing anything at all. So I got to play with, there we go. So you start seeing it and I know it needs to go there now. And so it might need to come a little higher as we get it in focus. And then the other thing too is you want it centered. So it's a little high up on the screen. So I got to figure out how to get it to come up. So I bring it up while tilting it and getting that camera to line up perfectly can sometimes be a pain. So there we go, we're almost there. There we go, we're good there. So now I'm gonna lock this arm here in place a little bit. Now I can fine tune it as it's not completely locked down. And this is rotating as well, the phone portion. Everything is modular, that way it allows you to like really fine tune and get rid of scope shadow or anything like that. So I'm not liking how low it's sitting. Come back down. See, ideally I want it there, but we're not seeing through the optics. So I gotta figure out where that sweet spot is. Oh, almost had it. There we go. So now we're centered up. I'll tighten this thing down, the arm. I'll get this back to where I need to be. And I don't want it, I don't want cockeyed footage there. So again, rotating this, loosening back the arm, making my fine adjustments. So right there is where I want it to be centered. It looks like I might have to undo this clamp and bring it forward just slightly. There we go. Brought it forward just slightly. And then I can rotate this again. Now I want a little more field of view on the edges. What I try to go for is that like Call of Duty video game style look. There we go, that's centered. And then we'll talk about focusing here. As you guys see, if I tap there on the screen, um, it'll focus up the way we want it to go. And there we go. Now I have the, uh, the field of view that I want. So I'll lock everything back. So come around here for me, Gil, and show the backside of this. So here, I'm gonna turn the dial and lock the phone portion of the mount and then push the locking bar forward as well. And now that whole thing is locked up. As you guys see, Gil come back around here. Now we have the field of view that we want. So a little over three minutes with me doing it here, live for you on camera, setting the whole thing up. But once you get it there, that's what you kind of want to find. And then now you want to kind of aim in. So I'm going to zoom uh, out a little bit to find my target. We're shooting at 100 yards, there it is. And now as I zoom in, everything is perfectly clear. I got the target in focus. Um, I have my reticle in focus. And then one thing I did notice too, I need to come over here and set my parallax. So come over, come behind me, Gil, over here and zoom in right here on the actual scope itself. You guys see the side parallax back up a little bit so it's in focus. So right here, see how it's starting to go out of focus with the target? Because I'm not at 50 yards. I'm between like 100 and 200. And so if I bring the side parallax focus to where it needs to be, now everything is clear and I can get the footage that I want. So we'll get it loaded up here and take some shots and uh, show you guys how it works with uh, using the actual variable power here on this magnified optic. All right, guys, now that we're all set up with the mount, uh, no scope shadow, everything looks good on this end from the iPhone. Uh, I'm gonna take a few shots so you guys can see the recoil. Uh, 6.5 Creedmoor out of a 18-inch uh, barrel, ADM, UIC uh, uh, 10A, that's their AR-10 variant. And uh, dropping the bolt there, you can see, you'll see a little bit of the recoil, but the mount stays in place. Uh, like I said, we're shooting at about 100, a little past 100 yards, nothing crazy for 6.5 but just want you guys to see what this looks like if you're shooting content with it. You see I'm barely able to get 
shoulder placement, but you can. And I'm set up decently here. And we'll take some shots. Boom, take another. Good to go. So you guys out there that are doing precision stuff and you wanna show you know, glass clarity, uh, what it actually looks like through the optic when you're zooming in, the reticle, everything, this lets you do it all. And then uh, we'll talk about in studio, um, you can use other apps. Like I'm just using the camera that's built into the iPhone. Works great for me, but you have stuff like uh, Filmic Pro that I used to use when I filmed on my iPhone that lets you manually adjust the focus of the iPhone camera. So you can use that if you want to. It's not necessary guys, but uh, it definitely can help you out if you're struggling to get the focus the way that you need it for zooming in on the optic. Now it was important to me to show you guys setting this up in real time. Um, I wanted to do this to give everyone a realistic expectation of what it is like setting this mount up. Um, while it may look a little time consuming on camera, in reality guys, it was only about three minutes. Now that we have everything set up, I wanna show you guys how it functions on the range. Uh, for this portion of the video, I wanted to showcase everything from a flat shooting AR-15 with a nice LPVO, um, all the way to a precision long range gun with a 25 times magnified optic. All right, keep recording, ready? Yep. Do that one more time. Do that one more time. So as you just saw, the COD mount held up really well on both the 223, 556 guns, as well as the 65 Creedmoor sniper setup. Now, I was definitely happy with those results, but to demonstrate the durability even further, uh, we were able to get our friends from Ventura Munitions to bring out a full auto scar heavy chambered in 308. All right, guys, so it'll even work on a full auto uh, scar heavy. So 308 full auto, and uh, let's watch this footage. Here we go. Hey, oh! Yeah, so anybody worrying about if it's gonna hold up for certain things, uh, if you're rocking uh, a 50 cal, maybe not, but scar heavy 308 full auto, good to go. This is what solidified our mount as being a reliable and durable one to market. Uh, for it to stay well centered on a Trigicon one to six LPVO while mag dumping a 20 round mag full of 308 ammunition under full auto recoil definitely made us all very happy on the range. The last thing I want to cover on the range actually comes from a few people asking the same question on our Instagram feed. Um, with the new style of content on social media platforms like Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts, and TikTok, uh, people wanted to know if they could use our mount to record in vertical format. Well guys, there's two ways to do this. The first is that you could just center the optic in your editing software and use that. Uh, the second is that our mount will allow you to record in vertical format. Um, you just have to set it up that way. To better demonstrate this, check out this footage.
All right, guys, we got a bunch of questions on the internet about with, uh, you know, TikTok and YouTube shorts, Instagram reels, with being able to record in a vertical orientation, if that was something that could be accomplished with our mount. I'm gonna have Gil walk around here. As you guys can see, phone is mounted in a vertical orientation. You're able to have a super clear field of view um, through this primary arms, five to 25. We'll zoom in here to uh, 25 magnification and take some shots with this um, ADM, UIC 10A and 6.5 Creedmoor. There you go. Everything's still good, in focus. You're able to get those shots, zoom out, and everything can be done for your guys' uh, social media content like uh, Instagram Reels and YouTube Shorts. So as you can see, our new COD mount is very versatile. Again, we're excited to see what you other content creators come up with. Uh, if you are new to creating content, guys, I want you to understand that getting shots like these, the ones that you saw earlier in our video, they are going to require a little bit of editing magic. Uh, I'm actually gonna share with you guys how we do it here on our channel. Uh, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is figure out the drill that you wanna shoot out on the range. Um, you're gonna shoot that drill with just your rifle and optic and no COD mount equipped. Record yourself shooting that drill, and that is going to be the first part of your video. Now, equip the COD mount as shown earlier in this video and run the same drill while recording it with your smartphone. Now, bring both videos into your editing software. Uh, we use LumaFusion on our iPad Pros. In your editing software, you're going to be able to cut both clips to match up and give you something like this. Now guys, editing is an art form all on its own. Um, however, it is not very difficult to make the clips that you guys just saw here in this video. All right, now I wanna go over a couple of things, uh, the fine print, if you will. Guys, when you use our mount, we want to ensure that you are clamping it onto a flat surface with the articulating feet or a round surface with the clamp arms. Um, I attempted to use our COD mount with my new Beretta A300 Ultima shotgun. Uh, when clamping onto the stock, I actually clamped onto the angled portion of the stock, which was not flat, nor was it perfectly round. Um, this did not allow for the clamp to get a secure purchase onto the stock. Doing this will result in footage where the camera moves out of position and is no longer the angle that you want. Um, this is where I wanna stress how important it is that you clamp onto a flat surface in an effort to get the clamp to hold on to the stock. Um, I torqued it down more and because it was on that hard angle of the stock, I ended up torquing it too much and cracking one of the articulating feet on the mount, which also marred up the finish of my stock on my shotgun. So again, please be aware that if you do not place the clamp on a flat surface with the articulating feet, you could damage the mount as well as the finish on your stock or gun. Next thing I wanna cover is marring or scratching of your firearm. Our clamp is made from metal, and while it does have a rubber lining, marring can still occur. Uh, included in your package is going to be two three-inch strips of foam adhesive. You can cut those strips into smaller sections and then attach them to your rifle or stock when using the clamp if needed. We definitely recommend not using our clamp on any safe queen guns or guns that have high-end Cerakote jobs. Uh, our mount is a tool, much like your firearm, and wear and tear is to be expected. If you are worried about creating cosmetic blemishes on your firearms or accessories, uh, we do not recommend using our mount. We also will not be responsible for any damages to your firearms in regards to scratches, wear marks, or any other damage that occurs from improper use. I want to note one more thing here, guys. Uh, with our smartphone mount, you'll see that I was able to keep the case on my iPhone when it was mounted in the setup. Uh, we recommend doing this just in case your phone does come loose or you do not secure the locking wheel or lever and your phone falls. Uh, we here at QBO Tactical also will not be responsible for damage to your smartphone. Now, the last thing I wanna discuss is focusing. Um, I utilize the iPhone camera because you're able to tap and hold on to the screen to lock focus. Uh, when using your iPhone with our mount, you wanna lock focus at the distance your target is at. Um, I simply click on the background away from the optic and it brings everything into focus in the scope or red dot. Holding your finger down will lock the focus and make everything clear for you. Um, it is very similar to being target focused when uh, using a red dot while shooting. You can now just make your camera target focus and it's going to give you that very clear first person field of view camera angle. If you are struggling to get proper focus, guys, you can utilize other applications for your smartphone camera. Uh, an example would be the application of Filmic Pro. Uh, this app allows you to manually adjust the focus so that you can get the perfect shot. Um, I didn't find this necessary. However, it is available in the App Store if you do need it. 
Guys, we want to thank everyone who's purchased one of our mounts once again. Uh, if you're watching this video, they are live on our website and they are up for sale. You can pick one up by going to qbotactical.com and purchasing it there. If you have any further questions, please feel free to reach out to us via email at info at qbotactical.com or drop us a line in the comment section down below. Again, we are very excited to see all the content you other creative gun tubers are going to be able to produce. Uh, please be sure to tag us as we would like to share your stuff. Guys, that's going to wrap up this video. Uh, once again, thank you for the support. We appreciate it. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up down below and subscribe to the channel if you are new here. We post new videos every week. As always, we appreciate you checking out the video and we'll see you in the next one. to get the focus the way that you need it for zooming in on the optic. <laughs> dope. Oh, that's all I needed to do this whole fucking time to get it center. Behind the scenes. <laughs> Talk.